This one is how Kendrick Lamar just helped find raps next dope. And it's not Baby Keem, apparently, so... I honestly don't know who it is. It better not be Killer Mike. That's all I know. Now, when the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef went down, while it may have seemed like everything happened the way it did merely for the sole purpose of Kendrick destroying Drake and ruining his image in a way that he could never quite come back from, there was always a much greater purpose for Kendrick doing all this than just to take down his biggest rival. And while his mission is still far from over, and this will be something we see further explored on his upcoming album, he has already laid out a very strong foundation Can't to accomplish this bigger goal through events like his Pop Out concert, and even the Not Like Us music video. As with all of these moments that have brought hip hop culture together in a rare way that we have not seen quite in this capacity for years. We are seeing firsthand a rap genre that is beginning to heal and restore back into an art form that values the love of its artistry and the purity of its culture more than the ridiculousness that has clouded the genre and made it seem like a mockery of what it once was. And although Kendrick has seemingly been back in hiding right now at this very moment, this does not mean we haven't seen any more growth or progression from this initial goal as with the Pop Out concert and the Not Like Us music video. Aside from Kendrick's own showmanship and the constant reminders through these moments of just how great of an artist he is, one of the biggest things to come out of all of this was the reunion and then resurgence of the dominance that Kendrick King, Lamar man. and his label Top Dog Entertainment possessed over the rap game as from Black Hippie on stage together, to then seeing Kendrick, the crew, and the label that made up one of the greatest powerhouses rap has ever seen get back together in one menacing shot that showed the hip-hop world that not just Lamar, but the rest of TDE are still here and ready to dominate. With all of this, Kendrick and the label that has backed him since the early 2000s never looked stronger, and now with all of this momentum, we have begun to see why Kendrick did what he did. And just how amazing it is that the tides have begun to shift in the rap world in terms of what listeners have their ears open to, because building off the momentum to one of the biggest hip-hop moments of all time. Top Dog Entertainment has now continued the job Kendrick started, as the label has officially transformed into a new era. And as Kendrick has left their wing and started his own label at this point, they have found a new MC, who while saying that they have the potential of Kendrick Lamar just would not be a fair comparison. Alright, so so far he's been yapping about Kendrick for a minute. But, uh, he did give him some background. Fuck. But he's talking about Kendrick a lot. But we're almost to the point. I think he's about to talk about whoever is, uh... Yeah, hello. You back. There we go. Focus. But, uh... He getting to the point of whoever it is. To really anybody. What is safe to say is that in a hip hop world right now that is flooded with grifters, imitators, and wave chasers, the video with the momentum then, you know. Kendrick Lamar created for himself, the label, and hip hop, and the development and repertoire of TDE that has given us so many classic albums over the past 15 years at this point. Top Dog Entertainment has now produced a new star and somebody who they have designed to carry the torch that Kendrick left the label off with. And the person they have picked to do this is the one and only Dochi. And now if you think oh. I'm lying or over exaggerating what? about this young and Hold on bro, pause, no disrespect bro, but who bro? No, no disrespect at all. Like, I, I don't, is it, I'm guessing this is a woman right here. I, I don't, that's crazy bro, I ain't never heard of her bro. That's wild, like. So they, she she's carrying the next the next generation, huh? For TDE, all right. MC being rap's next great talent. Yeah, you know, there's a there's a woman push right now in in rap, bro. Like Yachty is pushing like you know Caribou into this whole you know ship sink. But this this is this is interesting, brother. They're they're pushing like they're pushing women like in the lead. Like little teams are like pushing like women, different groups. This is interesting. They're trying to get like a female lead in things. Like I feel like they missed that mark. That whole generation of that just happened with especially in superhero movies let's just mo move into music now but anyway i'll just show you the respect you and belief that. that top dog entertainment has in her because from her video for the track nissan ultima she literally recreated the iconic intro from kendrick lamar's all right music video where he j rock absol and schoolboy q are all sitting in a car and now she didn't just do this in a way to mirror kendrick but this was one of the many ways the label has used such a high level of artistry to communicate what type of mantle Dochi is carrying, because as J-Rock, Absol, and not Schoolboy Q this time, but Isaiah Rashad are sitting in the car alongside her as she steers the wheel. It is quite literally <laughs> telling us that Dochi is now positioned in the place that TDE had Kendrick in years ago. Oh, really? And again, while I'm not trying to say that Dochi is the next Kendrick Lamar because that just would not be a fair comparison, what is clear is that with her debut mixtape on TDE, Alligator Bites Never Heal, Dochi has proven that she is without a doubt one of the best young talents rap has seen in years, and after a wave of new artists that with everything they have done and stood for, has made it seem like the future of hip-hop is doomed. 
It is so I refreshing haven't heard to her, see but She's probably better than Ice Spice, bro. I'll, I'll just say that. She's probably already better. If they're, if they're putting her in Kindred spot, bro, I'm already assuming she's better than Ice Spice, and I haven't even heard a single song. So, and that, that's no knock to Ice Spice, bro. As, as you know, like, she'd be on the channel, bro. She, she's fine. It's, it's okay. I don't have an issue with her. But it's just funny because I think uh, that she's probably better than Ice Spice. And that's just, I don't know if that's saying much, but, like, if she's better than, like, uh, one of the top ones right now, I think is Lotto. That can rap, you know, and there's there's other other ones, but Lotto's one of the popular ones. If she can, if she's better than her, then I, that's something, you know, that's notable. Artist but who I just cares about the nuances and aspects of making rap music that has defined all great artists before her, uh, and especially the ones like that have come a, from her very label. Because if you're a fan of type, Kendrick Lamar or you know, any of the other team about more artists, lyrics. you're quickly gonna fall in love with this project. Not because it is following the really the down. of what all the other TDE albums have stood for, and it is just pushing things forward in its own way. And again, if you don't believe me, or if you think I'm over exaggerating. Top Dog, the CEO Why of the barking? label, literally compared this album to Section 80. Again, not in terms of the quality, but in terms of the feeling and the moment that it's standing for, which is just a huge comparison. And now from the presentation of this project, which feels so immersive with its tracklist that flows together so seamlessly, and the story that it's telling throughout, to the production, which embodies so many different styles, sounds, and movements throughout hip-hop history, which ends up creating this dynamic palette. To Doce's performance herself, which from her vocals, which are always changing in tone and are so captivating <laughs> really is how lazy, animated though. they are, and just how unpredictably entertaining they sound, about her, though, so. which is something that you can very clearly see was studied from artists like Kendrick Lamar and Schoolboy Q. To her pen game, which allows for her to have some of the most compelling and well-thought-out raps of any new rapper who has come out in the last five years or so. As her writing is both I'm about to go listen, bro. Cause this nigga fucking like I ain't gonna lie, bro. He he hyping, bro. Like he he really he really lazing, bro. Like I can't I can't lie. Like it's one hundred percent. Like he he lazing hard, bro. And uh, that's okay. Like she must be good, and that, that's fine. But I might have to come back to leave a comment if she's not. Like I'm, I'm not gonna tap to you, big dog. She's not gonna let bro tap. Hey hey, you know G Diddy do. Go check her out, bro. Let me let me know hear hear something, bro. Or let me know if uh, it's it's decent, it's doji or whatever the fuck. Go check her out. But it also really makes you think about a lot of things in, in a way back. that rap music always had when it's at its best. Doji proves doji. through every single second of this project that Probably she is going to be rap's shit, next great artist, as this project is without a doubt a surefire album of the year candidate and with the track she is on. With the development of Top Dog Entertainment, who over the years have always allowed artists to thrive, as they are one of the only labels left who allow for people to develop properly and craft full-fledged experiences that end up making for great albums. It's safe to say that Doji has all the intangibles to take over hip-hop, but now beyond just the skill and merit, what's different about this moment right now and what's allowing for her impact to become even greater and is really letting her carve out a career as a genuine creative in this era where most new artists seem to pretty much just make meme music is due to the greater path and moment that rap is in right now. Because at this current time, we are living in a chapter of hip hop where things are changing because of the way the industry is being shaken up and also because of the major beef that just went down. And now while we really don't know what the future of this genre is going to look like because so much of it is still in the air right now because of what Kendrick Lamar did, as we are seeing the foundations really of hip hop culture being restored in a lot of ways, and things like artistry and skill are starting to be prioritized more than they have been in recent years. With all of this brewing up at this very moment, what somebody like Dochi has done as she just released one of the best projects this year and has asserted herself into the limelight as a star and somebody who is being praised for having so much potential sheerly off the merit of her music and not for any other reason. With Dochi and this project, we are witnessing firsthand the very reason why Kendrick Lamar took the beat where he did and why he and TDE created some of the biggest moments of the year and why it mattered so much because now with the spotlight back on them and now hip-hop culture genuinely craving more authentic music than ever. There is now a window that's opened wider than it has been in years, where people like Dochi can shine through and show the world how great they are. And considering where rap is at, not I will say he got me interested in in hearing this this woman, bro. Cause like she must be impressive, bro. Cause he he, he riding hard. Bro. Not just in terms of what Kendrick did, but <laughs> also in terms of the state of new artists and talent, and how worried everyone is. Seen, Ian, Cause boy. it really looks like most of the new acts emerging within and around the hip hop worlds are dooming the future of the genre. It's great to see that TDE has positioned somebody to carry the mantle Kendrick Lamar did for them in the 2010s decade, and now that she has already begun to do great things and is getting attention for it. 
With all this momentum and praise, if Doji moves from here and goes on to release albums on TDE that have even just a small fraction of the oh, impact really? of Kendrick Lamar, it's safe to say that rap is going to be in great hands. So now with all this said, let me know. What do you think about Doji? And if you listen to the project, please comment. All right, chat. What do we think about Doji? She's not the next rap, or she's not the next rapper of the generation. That that's disappointing to hear, because like my man was glazing her over here, bro. So she sound like she she's something special. The way this man was riding, bro. Bullfrog. See, whenever you listen to a new artist, bro, you always gotta go to the top joint, bro. Like whatever, like the one that has the most. But that's that's their mainstream song. And then then you go from like I would say like second best, maybe. And then that's how you, that's how you kind of find what's like their decent stuff, I think. But you find hidden gems though once you start digging though.